Hello everyone and welcome back to another devlog. In this devlog, I'm going to be adding a chat system that supports system messages. So the first thing I did was make the UI for the chat, which was very basic, but it does have some cool things like supporting colored player titles, but I'll have to mess around with that in the future sometime. Now that we have the UI all set up, it's time to add some functionality to it. So this is how it's going to work. Whenever the client wants to say something, they can press T on their keyboard to start typing in chat. And when they send the message, they tell the server what their message is, and then the server checks if it is less than 100 characters so that players can't send infinitely long messages. The server then grabs the name of that player which is stored on the server and currently there is no username system but I'll explain that in the video where I set that up. And then it relays that message to all other clients including the client that sent it. And here you can see that working in game with four clients and all of them receive the message including the client that sent it. And this is one of the few times where late joining clients aren't actually an issue because they don't need to see older chat messages. Now that we have the actual chat chat system down, I wanted to add some system messages, like for example when a player kills another player. So then I designed this quick icon to indicate the killing of a player, and then I put together this system message with the use of rich text tags, which are a cool feature of Text Mesh Pro which basically allow you to add icons and change the formatting of text on a single text object. And then to add functionality to this is really simple, basically whenever a client dies, we just send a global chat message saying that whoever shot the bullet killed whoever died. Unfortunately that's all I time for for today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next devlog where I'll implement the scoreboard I promised this devlog but unfortunately I ran out of time because school started so I don't have as much time to make devlogs but I'll still try to do as much as I can with the time I have.